Drive on mama, buckle up. Andrea TV here from driveonmama.com coming to you on Memorial Day. This is going to be a Memorial Day dinner shift and we are going to see what do people eat on Memorial Day. At least what do they order on DoorDash. We have our first order for this dinner shift. We logged on about 5.30. It is now 5.41. Hopefully the food is ready. And it's a small order for one person. They'll be getting, for Taylor, we're going to get a Neapolitan shake, a cheeseburger, single burger, with sautéed mushroom, a fried egg, Z sauce, tomatoes, lettuce, and Z seasoning, and a regular spicy fries. Let's go get it. Okay, so that first order was not ready when we arrived. It was ready a few minutes later, and that $9 or $9.50 turned into $12. Thank you, Mr. or Ms. Customer. The elevator in their building was not working, and they left us a note saying, leave at the concierge desk. Thank you, because five flights, yeah, I sweat easy. <laughs> it is now 5.57, and we did not pause the dash. So we received an order very close to that person's apartment. Oh gosh, I just got a notice saying her order has been changed and updated. It was the burger. Oh, they did not give me the shake. Oh my gosh, the Neapolitan shake. That was my bad. So uh, they noted the shake was not there. I looked at it before I went in and did not make sure when I left that was my bad. I'm so sorry, Taylor. And you left a nice tip, I think it was $6.50. <sighs> we gotta double check. But we have our next order. We are picking up three salads from the salad place. Hummus and focaccia and two create your own. They used to tell us what the create your own details were, but now it doesn't. As you can see, this is my old sick foam. But it used to tell you they're getting kale and or romaine and the dressing and the add-ons. But no, no details anymore. This one most likely is ready. Let's go get it. Okay, that last order turned into $9.06. Yes, they hit six. I can't say it. Six cents from us. And because it is not too far, I called the restaurant and asked them if they still had the shake, which is spilling on my car. But they did, so I went back to get the shake and we're going back to deliver to Taylor so they can have their sweet treat for Memorial Day. Let's go send them a follow-up. So, Taylor has their shake, even though it dripped on my car. We got that up and we have our next order. I believe it was 9.25, going about two miles. We're picking up some Chinese food. So, so far we've had a burger and fries and a shake and then we had a salad or two, three salads. And now we're picking up Chinese food. This customer is getting some yaki udon, U-D-O-N, with chicken added. I don't know, I'd never had it before. They're getting some hawker's wings with sweet Thai chili sauce. Naked or battered, they want them naked. Ooh. <laughs> so, hot chicken bao. Let's see if this is worth taking. Probably isn't. 1465, 3.9 miles. And it is for two pickups. One pick or two pick. Yeah, we're going to take this. 1465, 3.9 miles. Two drop offs, two pickups. Oh, if I can take it. This is the sick phone. It's gone. You see? This is why I don't use this phone. I could not. I was trying to take a screenshot and, and it's gone. Okay, anyway, we're not going to get that one. <laughs> Oh, and the customer Taylor just added a dollar tip for me coming back. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, it's not 14, but hey, you slow, you blow. So they're getting the yaki udon with chicken added, hawker's wings with sweet Thai chili sauce naked, soul hot chicken bao, chow fan with chicken added, pork belly bao, yee yee's chicken dumplings steamed, and popo lo's chicken curry with chicken added. Popo Lowe's chicken curry. Let's see what this looks like. Yuki Udon. Just to see if I can give you a picture of this food. That would have been nice, but just my luck, one of the pickups most likely was not gonna be ready. Um, this Chinese food restaurant is very popular. So I'm going to the same one for Uber. So that's what Yuki Udon looks like. Essentially, it looks like a form of lo mein with more vegetables added. 
It always smells yummy when I pick it up. Hopefully it's ready and hopefully we get an add-on since we missed that 14 inch. So the pickup time was 6.24. It is currently 6.34 and they said they are a bit backed up and it's going to be a while. This restaurant, I have waited the longest, like 20-ish minutes, 25 actually, close to a half an hour. But it was a large order and it was worth it for me to wait. This one, I believe with seven items, it's gonna be a large order also. The only small item I believe is the dumplings and it's yaki udon. I know I was saying it wrong, but we're gonna give it, let's say to 6.45 before we consider an assigning. It is dashers that have taken up the seats in the little waiting area on their phone like they are waiting at the barbershop for a cut. So hopefully it's not too long, I'll let you know. And it is now 6.56, back with another update. The food still is not ready. Checking on my car to make sure I'm not getting a ticket. But we did take another add-on from Uber Eats. $6.50 going an additional 2.2 miles. We are picking up some pizza and it's going to be two cheese pies and a crispy fried mozzarella sticks. Um, most likely the pizza and the salad are ready. Um, they brought out two more bags, but not my large bag. And now I'm too invested. I have to hold on. I'll let you know what time I So get. all three orders dropped off. The DoorDash, that $9.25 turned into, I believe, $28.33. Thank you, Mr. Customer. He was all right with the way he said, thank you so much for waiting. I said, thank you for your patience. We did drop off the salad for $5.93 and the pizza for $6.50. We arrived back on the avenue and we had to decline one. I believe it was $8 and change going seven miles at a sweet shop that sells, you know, loose candies, uh, brownies, and, and ice cream, and things of that nature. You did not want your sweet treat enough, mama sir. But we have our next order. It is a large order on DoorDash, 2750 plus sign, going 9.4 miles, I believe. So James is gonna get three tiramisus, two cannolis, two mozzarella garlic bread, mmm, yum, one chicken cardinal, and they want the chicken Milanese, or Milanese, M-I-L-A-N-E-S-E, -E. never had it, sure it's delicious, and a side salad, a grilled chicken salad, wild mushroom gnocchi, shrimp pesto with a side salad, and sausage with penne, and a side salad. I don't even care if it's not ready. This might be our last order. I don't know if you can see it. It is very dark, even though it's 7.43. It is thundering, and my husband told me that there's a tornado watch in our area tonight, so this may be our last order. Oh, you saw that? And I believe it'll be worth it. <laughs> Let's see if it's ready. So, we made it safe. It was raining slash thunderstorming on and off at one point on the highway. The flooding was so great on the outer lanes that only the first or two middle lanes were being used and you essentially had to merge yourself carefully with all of the tractor trailers and the, the charter buses. So it took a little bit longer than expected. The customer did come out to meet us in the rain. I was like, oh, you didn't have to do that. And do you want to know what that order went up to? $27.50 plus went up to $49 and change. Thank you, Mr. Customer. So we have ended our dash. And on a Memorial Day, Monday, we made $99 and change on DoorDash and $12.43 on Uber Eats from 5.30 to 8.30. We actually ended a little early and now we're gonna take ourselves home into our dry abode. So if you wanted to know what you eat on Memorial Day, I have given you some options on what people ordered on DoorDash. Oddly enough, there was only one order that I declined on Uber Eats that was picking up at a barbecue joint. The rest was, you know, pizza, Chinese food, you name it, Italian, salad. It's a mixture. Hopefully this helps someone and I wish you large tips, no weights, and short distances. And drive on!